Alina Rabakina versus Iga Swiatek is the second semi-final for the ladies at Indian Wells for 2023. And both players have had different roads to get to the semi-finals. Swiatek started the tournament off as a number one seed and will get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'll take on Lou, the American. But this was no problem for Swiatek getting through in straights, six love, six one. In the third round, she'll take on the 32nd seed on Drescu, who she'd played last year on the clay. And after a close second set, Swiatek would have to fight to get through six three seven six to get to the fourth round. In the fourth round, she'll take on Emma Raducanu, who had been very impressive this week, beating Hadaj Maya in the third round. But this didn't phase Sviantek getting through in straight sets easily, 6-3, 6-1, to get to another quarterfinal. Sviantek entered the quarterfinals and would take on Kastea, the unseeded player in that quarterfinal. But again, this was an easy road for Sviantek, getting through in straights, 6-2, 6-3, to advance to another Indian Wells semi-final. Rebecca has started the tournament off as the number 10 seed, and we'll get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'll take on Sophia Kennan, a fellow Grand Slam champion. And this would be a very tough match for Rebecca getting through in straights, 7-6, 7-6. In the third round, she'll take on 2021 champion and 21st seed Bedosa. And after a second set that was close, Rebecca would eventually get through 6-3, 7-5. In the fourth round, she'd take on the qualifier Gracheva, who had just beaten Kazakina along the way. And this was by far the best match for Rebecca, getting through in straight sets, 6 6-3-6-love six, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rebecca would take on the unseeded Mukova, who had been very impressive this week. And after a close first set, this match would go down to three sets, with Rebecca getting through 7-6-2-6-6-4 into her first semifinal since the Australian Open. These two have played two times before, with the record standing at 1-1, with their previous meeting being the Australian Open, Rebecca taking that in straight sets. Rebecca is going to win this match. She needs to serve big and push Fiontech around and use that power of hers to her advantage. In the Mukova match, she was running running around a lot, and that's really not her strength. So she needs to make sure she dominates those baseline rallies, pushing Sviantek around. If Sviantek's going to win this one, it's simple. She needs to push Rabakina around. Mukova did it very, very well, but just fell apart towards the end of the match. But we know Sviantek doesn't fall apart in matches like this. So she's going to push Rabakina around and maybe come to the net and finish points off in that service box area. This is going to be a very highly anticipated matchup because, of course, the Australian Open was only a couple of months ago, and it was an easy win on score to Rabakina. I think Sviantek's going to get revenge, though, in this one. And win in three sets. I think Rabakina's pace isn't going to work as well on the slower hard court like it did in Australia. And Sriantek's going to take advantage, get to the final. Let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one.